Hey guys, this is Fluky here. Um, I'm just here to say that I decided to start my tutorial series again. Um, so we're going to kick it off with how to get 2D um, logos and things like exactly like this into uh, Cinema 4D. So first of all, you have to make sure that you've merged everything into one layer. Once you do that, you hold control and click this preview here. And you can see dotted lines will come up around the edge. Um, once you've done that, uh, you'll see there are three tabs at the top where there are layers. Just go along to Paths, click the middle of all the seven options at the bottom, and it'll, you'll see the line goes solid around the edge. Now once you've done this, go to File, go to Export, and go to Paths to Illustrator, and you'll see it Work Paths always selected, and that's what you want. Sorry, my computer's kind of slow at the moment. Okay, once you've done this, just go to wherever you want to save it. I'm gonna, I got a special place I saved my uh, AI. So this is called an AI file, that's what you're making. Um, I'm just going to save it as one. So you save that. Um, now, once you open it in Cinema 4D, um, you just go to, if you have your Lightroom already open like I do here, you just go to File, um, Merge, rather than Open, and you wait for it to load, because your computer's really slow. Probably that man. Come on. Okay, and you just go to the place where it's saved. Mine's called One AI there, and just make sure the scale's one, um, and just press OK. Um, sometimes I like this one, as you can see. They, oh, not like this one, but sometimes they go off, t off, and somewhere else. Okay, but once you got this in. Uh, you've just got basically the outlines of it. So if you want to make it 3D, you go up to here, and you highlight extrude nerves, and you drag this path into the nerves, not the other way around. Wait for it to load, and there we go. So if you want to change the depth and stuff, that's all just in the nerves. You can still throw C in everything, so it's all just basically exactly the same as a uh, Mo text, apart from it's got a little indentation. Alright guys, I hope this tutorial helped you, um, goodbye and good luck.